Gentleman, and I call the member for Castle Hill. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise in the House today to raise a very serious health issue occurring in my electorate at Castle Hill High School. Teachers and parents of Castle Hill High School have advised me that in 2016, the outcome of an asbestos test report which was undertaken was advised to the Castle Hill High School community at the time as being negative, when in fact that test was positive. That 2016 asbestos report was hidden from the Castle Hill High School community until very recently, meaning thousands of students, staff and teachers were exposed to some of the most hazardous forms of asbestos for years and years unnecessarily. In May 2020, following four more years of complaints from teachers working in Castle High School, the Department of Education Asset Management Unit conducted an asbestos test which confirmed evidence of hazardous asbestos discovered in 91 areas of the school, including blocks A, B, C, D and E, all learning areas of the school. Five of those areas are considered high priority to this day. The Department of Education then initiated an inquiry regarding the many complaints they had received from teachers at the school together with the positive 2016 asbestos test. That inquiry was commenced two years ago and we still don't have any answers as to who was responsible for this disgraceful cover-up. Earlier this year, on the 4th, 19th and 20th of January, air monitoring of Castle Hill High School was undertaken and further elevated levels of asbestos fibres were recorded as it is evident in the environmental clean inspection report provided to the Castle Hill High School on the 29th of January this year. At a meeting on the April the 26th this year, just weeks ago, the Department of Education hygienist Hasem El Hassan presented the original 2016 asbestos report to a group of teachers. When asked a question during that meeting if any levels of the three hazardous types of asbestos uncovered in the 2016 report were at, sa at safe levels, Mr Al Hassan replied no. So the cover-up by the Department of Education continues to this day. Two weeks ago I called for an immediate independent asbestos test to be undertaken to prove, to prove unequivocally that there is no risk of asbestos contamination to the 2,000 students and hundreds of staff and teachers currently working at Castle Hill High School each day. On the same day, the Department of Education Infrastructure Manager, Mr Manning, advised the media that he was sure Castle Hill High School was safe. I remind the House that a complete cohort of students from Year 7 to Year 12 have attended Castle Hill High School since the 2016 positive asbestos test was undertaken, who we now know have been exposed to some of the most hazardous forms of asbestos. What we don't know is what the health implications will be for those students and staff and teachers in the years ahead. But more importantly, we still don't know what the risk of asbestos exposure exists today in Castle Hill High School, which is still placing the health of students, teachers and staff in serious jeopardy. Mr Manning of the Department of Education may say it's, it's safe for students, staff and teachers to continue to be in Castle Hill High School each day. That's because none of Mr Manning's family are in that school. Mr Manning's family have not been exposed to the serious levels of asbestos hazardous asbestos, as have the thousands of students, staff and teachers at Castle Hill High School over many, many years. Mr Manning will ultimately also not be accountable in the years ahead if there are serious health implications for the Castle Hill High School community. I state again, we need an immediate independent asbestos report to confirm if Castle Hill High School is completely safe for the students, teachers and staff who attend that school each and every day. We need that test to be completely independent. And when I say independent, Mr Speaker, I mean independent of government, independent of the Department of Education. I do not want to see a company undertaking a test that has any government contracts. I want this to be completely transparent because we have a massive problem at Castle Hill High School with thousands and thousands of students that have been exposed to some of the most serious levels of asbestos over the past six years. Mr Speaker, I don't think that's too much to ask on behalf of my community that we need to take responsibility. It's been hidden for too, too long. It's time someone stood up and I'm more than happy to be that person. Well, I thank the member for Castle Hill and I call